Hi everyone, it's Laura and I am here with a brand new workout for you using the Escape workout deck. It's like a weight bench on steroids because it can do so many different things. You can check out uh, my review on it. I'll put the link below. So go grab your water bottle, warm up for five minutes, and let's get started. Here we are. If you don't have a weight bench, you can follow along. You can do this just on your regular floor. Today, I'm gonna to be using it in two different levels. Uh, no weights, nothing, just you and your body weight today. We're just gonna show you some of the things you can do with this. So, we're going retro, we're going back to the 80s, and we're starting with some step moves. So, what does it look like? We're stepping on the step, and we're bringing our knee up. We're really crunching that knee. All right, we're gonna do 10 on this side, and then we're gonna do 10 on that side. Here we go, let's go. One, two, three, four. I'm smiling because my pool guy is out there. Five, wondering what's going on. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, now we're gonna take it to the other side. Here we go. Step one, two, really crunch if you want. You can bring three, knee to elbow, four, five, we're just getting started, six, woo, seven, eight, make sure you don't fall off, nine, and 10. Okay. So now we're gonna put that together and we're gonna go back and forth. So it looks like this, one, one. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do 16, so we're even. Let's go. One, two, three. Really crunch it up. Four, five. I want you to know, six. It's the second time I filmed this video today. Seven, eight, I forgot to hit the record button the first time. 10, 11, 12, good, 13, 14, and 15, very nice. Okay, we're gonna keep our step down here. Boop. And what we're going to do now is we are going to do what I call we're gonna do 10 downward dogs and five push-ups. So what does that look like? Our hands are on the step, shoulders are wide, feet are behind us. We're gonna push back, our hips back, almost up to the, the back wall there, and come back and downward dog. All right, here we go, just follow along, don't worry. We're gonna start in that push-up position, and we're gonna push back. That's one, rock it forward and back, two, really feel that nice stretch in your body, three, four, you got it, five, six, seven, don't be in a rush, we're always in such a rush. Eight, really feel your body working. Nine, and 10. All right, come back to that plank position. We've got five push-ups. You can put your knees on the ground if you need to or stay right here. Here we go. One, two, three, good. Four, and last one here is five. Push it back into that downward dog. Walk your feet up to the bench. Let your head hang. Let your hamstrings stretch. Now give me a slight bend in the knee and just roll up really slowly. Bringing those arms over your head and your hands down to heart center. That was great. Okay, now we're gonna take the step and we're gonna bump it up. So now, we're going to move the bottoms 
one here and one here. All right, just making sure everything's good. Now my head might go out of the camera while we do this, I have a feeling. That's okay. All right, we're gonna stay in the middle. I'm gonna come back a little bit so maybe I won't. All right, we're gonna step up and kick and down and we're gonna alternate to the other foot and kick forward like a karate chop. So here we go, step one, two, that's it. Three, four, you got it. Give it all you got. Five, six, seven, eight. You're doing a great job. Nine, 10, 11, 12. We've got 15, no, 16, 13, 14. I can't leave you lopsided. 15, and last one here, 16. Woohoo! All right, catch your breath. That's the great thing about the step, right? Get your heart rate up. All right, now we're gonna take it down. We're gonna sit on the bench for a second. We're gonna do some tricep dips. I keep feeling like my, my sneaker is in, untied. It's not. We're gonna put our palms onto the bench. We're gonna slide our hips off. Feet all the way extended is harder, or you could bring your feet in to do your tricep dips. So we're just bending at the elbow. Here we go, 15. One, two, three, four, five, good. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And now just sit it down and stretch out those triceps. Give them some love. You work them, right? Maybe a nice wide arm circle. Always feels so good. Okay, let's get up nice and slowly. We're gonna walk around to the back of the step. And now I'm gonna show you this one. You can have it. Oh, you know what, I wanna do this. All right, I almost forgot this one. We're gonna squat and side kick. You could have it low, you could have it high. We're gonna do 15 on each side, so here we go. I like to start in that squat position and kick up. Ready, let's go. One, two, three. You got it, four, five, work it, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, almost there, 12, 13, 14, last one, and 15. Woo! My heart rate's up, is yours? Good. That's what we're here for, <laughs> right? No baby workouts. All right, let's go. Start squatting down, kicking up. I'm gonna start here. That's one, two, three, four. You got it. Five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, keep it going, 14, last one here, and 15. Okay, good, ah, out of breath, Oh, good, 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 it's all good. All right, now we're gonna do one which I love, maybe I'll go this way, all right. So I'm gonna put the bench here, Again, you can have it high, you can have it low, wherever you want it. Heart rate's still up. This is our, really our last pumping work um, exercise. It's gonna be a short video today, but effective to get that heart rate up. All right, so what does it look like? We're gonna be going over and back, over and back. This is what it looks like. Up and down, up and down. We have got 16, are you ready? I can't hear you. 
Yes, let's go. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Come on, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, woohoo, and sixteen. Kind of cheated on that last one. That's okay. All right. Catch your breath. These are really good for getting that heart rate up. I'm gonna bring this down a little bit. Boop. All right, we've got one more exercise to do. So what does it look like? It's a front lunge, and if you have weights, you can add weights to this, or you can do it with no weights. It's fine. Whatever you wanna do. You, I'm talking to you. All right, here we go. We're going to just lunge and bring our arms up. So if we had weights, they'd be going up over our head. Two, I want you to lean back a little bit. Really feel three, that core engaging. Four, we tend to lean forward. Five, that doesn't engage the core. Six, seven, feel it, yeah. Eight, become aware of what your muscles are doing. Nine, that's really 10. Half the battle when you're working out is to make that mind-muscle connection. All right, I'll stop yakking. Let's do five more because I'm not counting. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. All right, we're gonna take it down to the ground. I'm gonna take it this way. We're just gonna do some um, stretching type um, low back strengthening. So we're gonna lie across our bench and we're gonna balance. We're gonna do a superwoman, one. We're gonna do 10 of those. If you want, you could lay a mat or a pillow across it. Um, yeah, it's not the most comfortable, it's not the most uncomfortable. All right, here we go. One, or you could just do it on the floor. Two, three, we've got 10. Four, I'm gonna adjust right here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one is 10. Okay, come on back. You're gonna give me a nice, just a child's pose. Wide-legged child's pose. Stretch out those inner thighs. Feels really good. We got the heart rate up. We got the heart rate down. We worked our lower body. Let's just walk our hands to one side. Feel that stretch in the obliques. Take a deep breath here. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, and when you're ready, move back to center, and then let's move it to the other side. Really feel that stretch. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Really let it go, ah, right? Let that stuff go. Let go of what's not serving you. All right, let's walk it back here. And we're gonna do one, yeah, you know I do this. I throw in one more exercise, why not, right? We're here, we're just gonna do one little core exercise. Since we're sitting and we're here, I sneak it in. All right, we're gonna do a V sit. So it's in and out, in and out. We're gonna finish off with 15 of those today. Let's do it, here we go, together. One, two, three, four, Five, really crunch it in. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. All right, good. I'm going to take you into wide legged forward fold. Stretch out those inner thighs. Just look forward. Bend from the spine, not your upper body. Just look forward and just breathe. 
Maybe with every exhale, you can go a little bit deeper. Eye gazes forward. Nice, nice stretching. Now let's bring those legs together and let's take a twist to one side. And nice, straight back. Just twisting a little spinal rotation. And then we'll go to the other side. Looking behind you, right? And now looking forward because that's where we're going. All right, everybody, you did a really great job. Thank you for joining me on my first <laughs> escape workout a deck bench. You know there'll be more because there's so many things we can do with it. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Leave me a comment, a like, some love. I love hearing from you. And as always, I will see you on the next video. Have a fit and fabulous day. Bye-bye.